Hi, my name is Everett Poffenberger. I'm a product manager at Cables to Go. Cables to Go, for those of you who don't know, is a major cable manufacturing engineering company with more than 25 years in experience in engineering and connectivity on cables. I'm here today to talk about a new AV control system introduced in October 2011. This is our new TrueLink AV controller, which was actually developed in partnership for, a, for more than a year and a half with a major integrator. And what we've done is taken input and changed from an integrator to bring out a better version for you, the customer, later this year. The TrueLink AV control system was specifically designed for K-12 classroom environments. Our controller features a simple eight-button design that is easy to use, easy to learn, and easy to configure. Our controller also features auto-on and auto-off features, which allows you to actually turn the classroom on and off at your designated times. Also designed for universal mounting, which means you can be mounted anywhere in a classroom, which allows the teacher easy access. Controllers designed to replace remote controls within the classroom. Rather than a teacher trying to find remote controls or the school system replace remote controls, all the teacher has to do is come in the morning, turn the on button, and you know that the system is going to operate and operate the way it's supposed to all day, year in and year out. The TrueLink AV control system was specifically designed for K-12 environments, but also too with the integrator in mind. Our control system is a simple installation and cost-effective design. Let's cover real quick what's included. Our control system includes everything needed to get started on the job. We have a free administration pack available at no charge, which is compatible with your PC that can be interfaced with our control system. Also features an admin key, which is used to interface with our uh, mini USB jack and a standard USB memory stick. Also features a standard USB cable, which allows you to hook to a standard USB output on a computer into our control system. The kit itself for the controller includes everything you needed to install and get it started. Uh, it includes 36 keys, those 36 keys can be removed and easily inserted into our key plate design. It includes an AC-DC adapter. We also have an optional power cable available that can be, will allow this unit to be powered from our truly classroom AV amplifier, which allows you to power both the AV controller and our amplifier from one outlet. It features a 3.5 millimeter plug IR emitter cable, a quick start guide, which includes a basic schematic and basic instructions to get the system installed and get it up and running. Also features the controller itself, which is a basic eight button design, which allows you to program in four commands per button. And what that does is allows you, these four commands can be macro programmed and be compatible with repeat, fire all, and sequential or just single programming. The best example of a repeat command would be the volume up and volume down. This allows you to put the volume up command into the controller. As long as you hold that button down, the, that command will be repeated and played to the device. The sequential command, the best way to explain that is going to be on the AV mute. Typically you have a play command for AV mute on and a play command for AV mute off. This allows you to put both macros, two stacks, two memory stacks into this key and will allow you to play them back in sequence. So the first time you push the button, it'll play stack number one, which would be AV mute on. The second time you push the button, it'll play number two, which is typically AV mute off. With the fire all command, that will fire all commands within the stack within milliseconds. And the best example of that is the power off. Typically the power off on a projector requires two button pushes to confirm that you want to turn it off. What you can do is you can program in the off button so it'll fire off both commands within milliseconds so you can turn off the device at the push of one button. Our controller also, our kit also includes the multi-port controller interface adapter and this is an adapter which again for a very simple design will go in close proximity to the device you want to control and this features a CAT5 jack and we feature a simple one cable design which is run from the adapter down to the controller itself. The signaling and all the power is through one CAT5 cable for an easy install. We also feature a standard DB9 output connector. This is a male DB9 connector configured for a standard output which allows you to run the RS-232 signal to a projector or another device in the room. Now we also have a unique feature to our unit that actually is the uh, dip switch here. And what this does is on a standard output, it's a standard configuration, but you can actually flip the dip switch and go to a null modem output. So if you're not sure what type of cable you have or perhaps you got the wrong cable for troubleshooting, this allows you to switch the output. Very invaluable trying to troubleshoot and help you out in the field. We also have the power input, again, which is from the AC-DC adapter or an optional power cable from our truly classroom amplifier. Also features two IR outputs. They're exactly the same output. They are mirrored. The 3.5 millimeter jack simply connects to IR emitter cable. 
The second jack, the R number two, is a standard gyro plug, which allows you to run longer distances. So for example, you could use CAD5 or another type of cable in your truck to run this longer distances and still have the same IR output and adapt it to an emitter at a later time. Now, we have some great unique features about our controller. One nice feature is the programming. We offer a couple different options for programming. One standard option is to use the actual software, which comes free of charge in the admin pack, which you load onto any standard PC itself, and then it interfaces with our controller so you can program it through the PC. Also includes easy to use software. Now another option is to use the admin key. And what this does is this allows you to actually, let's say, be in your office. You can program in a script into your PC, then save that script to a USB memory stick. Then you can simply take that memory stick out to the field, plug in our controller, and this is without removing from the wall plate. So you can actually program our controller without removing it from the wall. And what you do is you plug in our admin key, a green light will actually light let you enter in admin mode, and then you simply hit the one button for upload, and the script you save that memory stick will upload into our controller. Also works the opposite direction. We can also download. So a perfect example of that would be if you go into a classroom situation and you're installing a new controller in a classroom next door, you could actually take the known script that is good from another controller, download that to a memory stick, take that memory stick to the controller next door, and upload that and simply repeat to every classroom you need to do that. Another programming option for ours is through the IR. We can learn IR programming through the front of the remote control panel here. Uh, and again, this is without removing from the wall. You simply take the remote control, learn all the commands, and again, just like with the RS-232 or the, through the PC, you can learn four commands per stack and choose between repeat, sequential, and fire all. So this allows you to take a remote control and you can program an entire classroom in less than five minutes using all IR, and then simply take this device, download it to a memory stick, and then go from room to room in that simple to program. Everything about our controller from the Julian controller was designed to save the integrator time, money, and effort on the installation.